think in line with the, what uh, the Polka report said and also organization report, I think the emphasis was that uh, there must be an increase in solidarity. I think I'll just focus on the practical areas of assistance. I think uh, the facilitator said SADAC and the position. I think that that is another important area I think I would deal with. But uh, on what area I think the direction would be because really the condition in the country has turned up into a very mature condition of a revolution. Probably it says the SSP takes the central stage in the solidarity campaign in South Africa. And that's one of the practical processes. Because it's the only revolutionary organization that can understand these dynamics now. The army is out in Swaziland. Guns are coming in from both sides in the country. Then it declares that it's a situation. People are dying day in and day out from both sides. Others in prison, others are, others are disappearing. It's the, it's the lifestyle of the present moment. Uh, everyone is at risk. Children, students are raped as part of the counter missions just to frustrate the student movement. I think almost all those kind of things are the part of the burden. It's just a war environment. That's why we say the SSP takes the central stage to that regard. Then uh, I think the SADAC position, I think we are all quite aware how it will fail. It is because it will fail, they refuse to say. <coughs> the struggle for Swazin is about democracy. It is about managing a crisis, so a wrong starting point. But I think we need, let's work on that on the basis that the main envoy for SADAC under the leadership of uh, the president of South Africa is Comrade Jeff, who is a party man. But I think the issue is that for trust, we must share confidentiality because there is always a deception. Tendencies that Sarag is trying to play. It seeks to create a, a neo colonial position, wanting to make us probably not to win what we have already started. I think the question we are trying to answer now, I think that we think had to be coming out is that will the people of Sudan win this war and will that country survive? That is our position now that we are trying to answer that question. And therefore, for us to have a good answer to that, <coughs> the solidarity side is that probably the Congress would resolve when an immediate summit on Sosne, led or organized by the SSP and the entire forces, organizing even the entire solidarity movement on Sosne that exists globally but also involving the entire forces in South Africa, trade unions and the alliance as a whole. And also the forces in Swaziland, as they might be organized in a different formation. And then we discuss in broader and see how best we can come up with a solution to <coughs> that. I think that will make up a, a more comprehensive, a more legitimate standpoint I think that South Africa should take up and champion and even converse in advance within government and then even in other formations elsewhere. I think that is our contribution to say, I think that can define a proper way forward on the basis that uh, other things cannot necessarily come out genuinely from probably what we are. But if we then said the commission to <coughs> an agent summit coordinated or run by the Communist Party with a framework focused on Swaziland, but also can involve other organizations and countries, Zimbabwe and others, but just to have up because there is a common share formula that we need to come up around with that problem because it needs an entire contribution of the region. I think that is the, the point probably we can share with Chavez. Thank you.